Hey guys, and welcome back to the Mercenaries. When we last left off, we were kidnapping, or should I say liberating spies from the Chinese. And, well, we had questionable success with that. But, let's go see our friend Buford and get another mission. Agreed, sir. This looks like a pretty relaxed environment. Hey, look who's back, Kim. It's everybody's favorite mercenary. Yeah. Lee Choi runs his rackets out of Incheon, a city I got my eyes on. Unfortunately, it's pretty obvious to everyone involved that we're planning on moving in, and Choi is getting ready to hightail it out of there. So get your ass in there, bag in for yourself. <laughs> You got it. <laughs> what the hell? I've never, never noticed being able to do that before. Yes, I've got a heart somewhere, I suppose. Under this bulletproof jacket. Under this burgundy thing. Boy, these notary and generals really are a sweet group of guys. I've known worse, believe it or not. Just get leech oil, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on it. <clears throat> Hey, you're sending the right woman for the job. That's all I can say. Maybe. Well, oh, let's get a vehicle, shall we? Seems like a good idea. Yeah, the scout will do. This will be fine. It will be adequate. I do like it when the vehicles are adequate. Out of the way, jackass. Hot stuff coming through. So, let's have a little look at our mission, shall we? Destroy missiles, verify king of clubs. Oh! Okay. Oh, Jesus! No! Jennifer, you crazy woman. Can we maybe, like, not jump out of a moving vehicle? Especially when we need the vehicle. Ah, oh, God. Mercenaries these days. Honestly. Like trying to orchestrate a bag of cats. Alright, let's get out. So, missile base. Wait, is... Ooh, this is that bit up here. Ah... Uh, we need some hardware for this. Hmm. Oh. Ask, I guess, and you shall receive. You right that? Can I uh, just liberate your tank, please? I kind of need it, buddy. Why are you getting out? Thank you. All right, let's go to work. Oh, there we go. Turn you. Ooh. Right, I don't like you up there, sir. Let's bring you down to size. There we go. Good stuff. Well, if you're planning on smuggling these warheads out, that's kind of interesting because, to be honest, I don't know how we're going to smuggle this out. You might want to set them... Uh, well, I don't know even what I'm trying to say. My god, my brain has just literally turned to liquid shit in my head. Yes, it would be hard to smuggle those out whilst they're attached to their launchers. Surely, it would make more sense to take them down first. But hey, what the bloody hell do I know? I'm just a moron that talks into a microphone. I was going to say for a living, but I of course do not do this for a living. I sweat my ass off outside. A very boring job sometimes, but hey, it pays the bills. Ah, right. Here we go. Fire! Oh god, can you even imagine doing YouTube for a living? That'd be weird. Oh, okay. Hey dude, I needed that. Can I have, like, your helicopter? Sir? You've just, like, destroyed my tank. I needed that. Hello? 
At least give me a bloody helicopter as compensation. Yes, thank you. Uh, at least you had, at least you had a compassionate heart, I guess. And why do your guns not work? There we go. Right, we don't want to get too high because there is anti-armor here. Yes, we did. Well, we can do that. Wait until the helicopter lands. What helicopter? I didn't know he was dealing with a helicopter here. Right, let's take that out. Now there's a SAM site there. Ooh. I guess that wasn't a SAM. I guess that was uh, a jammer. Well, consider yourself jammed. Okay. Now, if I was a little pipsqueak, where would I be hiding? Oh! Please don't fire your RPGs at me. This thing does not like RPGs. In fact, it is incredibly allergic to RPGs. Now, where are you, you little bugger? Anybody? No? I would like to take this thing out. I guess we really can't. Hey, there's no foreign devils here, man. Just honest, hard-working Joes. Uh, do I really have to land this thing? Oh. Well, easy enough. That was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Right, let's give our friend here a little pat on the back. Hello, King of Clubs. I've come for your reward money. There we go. Please don't kill me. You are nothing in my eyes but a bag of money. Now, let's hope that our... Uh, good? Question mark? Right. Please don't get shot down. Ooh. That's not good. Right. Please don't get shot down, dude. I need the payment for this guy. I'm a poor, starving uh, mercenary. In a foreign land. Or something. Alright, how are you, dude? There we go. In you go. Another one down. Ooh, look at the helicopter there. Nice to shoot that bad boy down. There we go. Nice big fat bounty. Nice. Ooh, gunship support. What exactly does that entail? Uh, is that supplies? No. Airstrikes? Gunship support. Laser targeting required. Point and shoot devastation. Count on the Americans to deliver a hail of bullets with pinpoint precision. No, we're not responsible for loss of gunship to anti-air SAM missile attacks. Yes. Okay. Nice. Well, that was smooth. And I almost committed a crime. You. You're North Korean. Which means you're about to go down. Boom. There we go. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can nuke this, shall we? Whilst we're here. We've got no C4. Um, what equipment is laying around? There's a lot of helicopters here. Maybe we can use some helicopters. 
They have two missiles each. Which ain't shabby. There we go. Get rid of you. Possibly you. Right. Oh, okay, that only took two shots. Good. Let's get out of here. So that's Buford Saddles. Satisfied. We got any goodies up here? We might have. We could well have some nice goodies up here. I do like the way they let us light them up. No shits given, like. Okay. No medkits. Oh, yes. Yes, there is. Ancient mirror. I'll have it. Oh, God. Dude. Dude, come on now. Don't be like that. Just here trying to steal your dudes. Yeah, you can actually see the smoke deforming a bit there. That was cool. Yeah, and it blows the fire as well, which is a very nice effect, to be honest. There we go. Got some more ammo. Ooh, you... Ah, oh, see the smoke deform there with the RPGs. That's really cool. I was a huge fan of that back in the day. So, we only have the Russians and the Allies left. Let's go see the Ruskies. We also, though, have the Ace of Clubs. Good news, the AN is now accepting bids on the contract for Dung... <laughs> unlucky. Uh, Hwangbo. That's based largely on the intelligence you gathered in the field. They're declassified enough of the intel so we can begin the hunt. Hwangbo is little more than a ruthless businessman. He shouldn't be too tough, not compared to some. Garrett will be waiting for you, for you outside Allied HQ. Remember... If you accepted this mission, the AN considers the contracts on the other clubs closed. If you want to work on the rest, yeah, we'll do that later. So, another CIA-rooted intelligence email from Major Park. I get the feeling Park is a total cipher over there at South Korean HQ. Mm -hmm. The satellite reconnaissance, uh-huh. That Chong Yi, the six of clubs, is operating just south of the Russian mobs HQ in Pongyang. This Yi is another businessman responsible for funding the Ace of Clubs operation. No military training. Okay, so south. So he's like here somewhere. Funny enough. We are south. Is it over here? Yep. So who are we looking for this time? Uh, this chap. Status wanted. Formerly a deputy minister of finance in President King Kim's government. Yi converted covertly traded principality with the Russian Mafia and terrorists in Afghanistan. Yi created a well-oiled economic machine designed to supply General Song's troops with the equipment they need to fight. Okay. Well, that won't do. Let's go drag this naughty little bastard in, shall we? Oh. Okay. Let's light as many of these guys up as possible. All these officers. There we go. Ah, oh, he's on the tank. Well, I mean, not quite. Ooh, yeah, well, I got the answer for that. Okay, hopefully. Ooh. Bail out of that quick. The hell? Oh, hello. Let's get you down, sir. Yeah, the shotgun. Interesting. All right. Yeah, yeah, cool for extraction. Cool, got it. Where's that helicopter? Bothersome fly. Oof. Oh, you silly sausage. Really? God, these things are hard to hit <laughs> with those weapons. Which I guess is good. 
Come on. If we can kill... Uh, I think I hit the pilot. Yes, I did. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Nuclear blowgun. I like the sound of that. A terrifying weapon, to be sure. Alright, so we've got the six. And that looks to be everything here. Cool. Uh, cool for extraction, then. And there's no reason why you can't land on that helipad. Right, let's go grab this bag of money. Come on, pal. Your days of criminal activities are over. You are quick, Expo 2. I'll give you that. You're on it. Oh, God. Um, that's awkward. That's really awkward. And I don't have a lot of bullets. Shit. Uh, Expo 2, do you just want to, like, take this guy and then go? And you need to go, like, now. Because otherwise, I'm going to be lumbered with a big bill that I don't really want to pay. Nice. Another cool 25 Gs. Ah, oh, if only getting money in the real world was this easy. Uh, Colonel Garrett, yeah, he will be happy. Let's grab that. Okay, so... See if we can take you out. Oh, yeah, don't mind if I do. You're a gentleman. Absolute gentleman. Ooh, they will sing your name for years to come. The guy that literally handed... Oh, God, look at all these helicopters. Oh, my God. Look at these helicopters. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay, so technically that's fine, I guess. We did actually lose anything. Apart from a bit of dignity. And maybe some broken bones. Okay, so let's go pay the Russians a visit, shall we? Sorry, pal, but I really need this. I've got to go visit the Ruskies. You might want to get out, dude. Because I don't think the Russians like the Allies. But hey, your choice. I gave you the choice. Bloody roughneck. Yeah. You're about to get uh, more than you bar more than you bargained for. Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe he's got some Russian contacts. Kick back with some vodka and some of that high quality Russian blow. Ooh. Uh, at least you can have some fun along the way. Bridges. Now these bridges are not fun. These are dangerous. The actual seams that they use to put the bridges together in, in the game engine really don't work very well. As we've seen. If you hit one at the wrong ang angle, you will just bounce like a springboard. It's funny, to be sure, but it's really freaking annoying as well. Alright. Now, in the Mercenaries 2, I believe you have a grappling hook. And you can really use that to, like, take over helicopters and stuff. And it's really cool. Or am I getting confused with Just Cause? Eh, it's possible. Hello, my Russian friends. Boop. What? What? You're here to look at some merchandise. Hmm, something like that. Give me my money. Joseph, look who's back. Hey, have you met Joseph? No, of course you haven't. This is how important our operation is, eh? They send me this guy, this old Russian bear. He used to be KGB, so you watch out. Working for us, for me, it means a lot of trust, mm -hmm. right? I'll make you rich, mercenary, but I have to trust you. You don't behave, I'll have Yosef kill you. He'd do it too. Yosef ex KGB, did I mention? Yes, that? you did. Right, of course I did. So what that means is, he fears you. He know where people are. He 
people like General Strong? You want him? You keep working for me. He'll lead you right to me. Speaking of which, I got the contract for you already. Uh-huh. Sounds good. The North Koreans, they love American money. Hey, who doesn't, huh? They love it so much, they print it themselves. <laughs> Counterfeiting, hey, it's right up my alley. So you're going to... Uh-huh. Ooh. Holy shit. So much for a low profile. Kill Chinese officer. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Cheers, buddy. This thing looks like an animal. What we got here? We got rocket pods. We got some kind of chain linked cannons. Oof. Oh, we got some nice guns. We got 14 rockets. I like this thing. The Mafia variant. Let's try it out, shall we? Well, I mean, yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Hello. Hello. So, what is our actual mission? I like this helicopter. Less ammo than the uh, North Korean one. Less powerful machine guns, but the fact that we have uh, lots of rockets is quite nice. So, bonus. Kill the Chinese officer in charge of the raid. Can do that. So, we've got to return the cargo. Taking out the officer and escaping with the cargo in one piece won't be easy. The Chinese have several soldiers in the area. I recommend that you take care of business as quickly as you can. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to do this. These guys look like they have RPGs. Yeah, the Chinese aren't going to like this, but... Really? Really? There we go. Run, you... Oh, some helicopters... Yeah, have a winch. I know. Well, we only needed to kill one, didn't we? So. Alright, uh, okay. No. Go. Down. Let's grab the cash. Come on. Yeah, no doubt they want this thing back. There we go. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there, I forgot there are physics involved. Oh, bloody hell. Hold. Hold. Now, if we are going to return this bass, we're going to return it with no weapons. Or at least, no missiles. Let's give the rockets a whirl, shall we? Hello. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's hard. That's what she said. Oh, it's very hard. With a box dangling. Ooh. Yep, the missiles, they hurt. They work, and they hurt. Oof. Oof. Come on. Ooh, it's not easy to hit much with these. I'll give them that. Oh, we're out. We're empty. All right, let's bring this guy down. <sighs> Sir, you're losing in a helicopter battle against someone that is carrying a heavy load. Still. Oof. I love physics. I love physics in games. Oof. Oof. I think that's being emulated correctly. Eh, physics are overrated. Should I say the simulation of physics are overrated? They don't need to be accurate, they just need to be fun. There we go. There's your money. Oh, it's like playing Desert Strike all over again. Now, if we could borrow this helicopter when we wanted, that would be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we do eventually get one. Whether it's that one, I can't remember. In fact, I think there's a several helicopters we get. Okay. Uh, North Korean Sungri Scout Delivery. Chinese Supply Drop. Okay, we've got some cool stuff for that. So, what is the vehicle that we got for that. Ah, oh, that one. 
authentic military surplus. Enjoy the North Korean countryside in this open-top military vehicle obtained directly from the North Korean army. 7.62mm PK machine gun included. Hmm. Don't be caught short on fuel when you're planning your next assault. We'll airlift a fuel truck straight from the Chinese motor pool to your location. They make great car bombs too. Mm hmm Okay. Right, well, I mean, that was a thing. That was cool. Now, we don't really have time to go do another mission, but there is some stuff here. So we'll have that. Let's see if there's anything else we can round up the last few minutes oh the last few minutes for acid filled paintballs oh that makes my eyes water literally if you think about it anything else nice little compound they got here really oh yeah there is okay listening post mm -hmm. that's three little pickups these civilians literally just spawning in. I don't know if that actually happened on the uh, real hardware as well, or whether that's to do with the emulation. I'm going to say it probably happened on the real hardware. I mean, this game was pushing those systems pretty hard, and it was a very impressive PlayStation 2 game. Wasn't it interesting, like, how creative they got? on the 6th uh, generation of consoles? Or is it 7th generation? Uh, my brain is not working right now. I can usually recite the generations with ease. Um, now, any goodies? Although they do uh, <laughs> animate at a very low frame rate. Ooh. When you get far away from them, which ah, you can't really complain. Although, that is one thing that really bugs the shit out of me with the new Resident Evil 1 and 2 remake. The fact, uh, if you see zombies off in the distance, they really are animated with, like, half the frames. I mean, it could even be less than that. It looks so jarring. I'm not sure why they did that. I mean, yeah, the PlayStation and Xbox One, they're not exactly supercomputers, but... They can handle that, surely. It's definitely seen more impressive games. Handle it. Ooh. Impress the locals with your barrel moving skills. Move the barrel as far as possible. 50 meters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would get out of the way, guys. 50 meters. It's doable. Don't move my barrel back. Eh. There we go. This is a classic for the Russians, isn't it? Now, if we could get that over there. Really? 50 meters was what they wanted me to beat? Ha. Ugh. Easy. And it makes the Ruskies like us more as well. So we did get that up there, didn't we? We did. Oh, sorry guys, I didn't realise this was off limits. Hey, these civilians are allowed to walk in. Let's not question that too hard. Um, right. I think they're still trying to shoot us. A bit rude of them, really, when we're not even in the area anymore. Okay. What have we got? That was quite cool, stumbling across that barrel toss thing. I don't remember. Well, do I remember that? Maybe. Interesting to see that there's not just the same generic missions everywhere. They mix it up a little bit. Really looking forward to completing this game. <laughs> we got a long way to go yet. But and trying Mercenaries 2. Whilst this is still fresh in my brain. I think Mercs 2 is going to be an interesting game. There's a whole new platform. Xbox 360, even though we'd be playing it on the X. And, yeah, it was just, they really pushed some boundaries with that game. It was very impressive stuff. I remember that much. And I think that's more or less everything that's here. 
Unless there's a few other little odds and sods that we've missed. I mean, that we are going to miss some of these. We just are. There's so many to find. Yeah, I don't know how well we've done so far. Uh, got 18% of the blueprints, 19% of the national treasures, 4 of the monuments, which is nearly 25%, and 8 listening posts. Now, what's frustrating is we keep destroying um, and finding things, and then we get killed, or we fail the mission, which means you've got to remember what you've picked up and where it was, and you've got to remember that you've got to go back for it, and yada, yada, yada. But anyway, I'm waffling. We're on half an hour. We have scouted this area out. There doesn't appear to be too much here. I think we've cherry-picked most of it. I would really like to get a guide for where everything is. I really would, actually. I was saying I wasn't going to do it, and I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do it. Because I've promised things before, and then I've gone to do them, and I'm like, why did I say this? Why? Um, Saboteur comes to mind. <laughs> Oof, that was painful. Uh, yes, so, I don't know. Maybe I'll get everything, maybe I won't. I. Yeah, I think that's it. Ah, look. And there are even sneaky little fucky bits like that where you really do need a helicopter to get them. God damn it, I really want that. Ah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.